we're going to jump right in to creating our electrical plan for our vacation home. I'm going to go ahead and open my 3D view so everybody can see. Right now I have all my various appliances and other things installed in the, into this uh, what's going to become a little cabin. Uh, but I have no ceiling. I need ceiling to be able to place uh, I need the ceiling to be able to place the lights down. So what I'm going to do is in my project browser, you can see I have floor plans as a category, and then I have ceiling plans as a category. I'm going to open the ceiling plans, and the only plan that I have is a ceiling plan for the level we have titled floor plan. So go ahead and open that up. What you will see is this level's exterior and interior walls. Next thing I want to do is under architecture, click ceiling. Right now the default is automatic ceiling. Oftentimes this will work. You can see I hover over the area and it picks all the way around to put a ceiling in and it, right here it says offset from the floor of floor plan eight feet. That's exactly what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and click, click this. But just before I do that, let me point out if this is not working for you, if you need to sketch it the same way we've sketched um, floors and other things before, you can click sketch ceiling and that'll give you those tools. Since mine's working, I'm going to go ahead and click it. And then although, even though nothing changed, I did put something in. And I can tell that because if I go to modify and back to 3D view, you can now see that there is in fact a ceiling there. The next one, and I can actually now, um, I'm going to use this to place my lights because if I don't do that, I won't be able to see them later on. So in this plan, I'm going to need to add my lights, and I will be able to move them later. So I can add them in kind of an approximate location um, because I will be able to shift them over later. At the top, I'm going to come over to Systems. And as I hit Systems, I'm going to come all the way over to Lighting Fixture. The first one I have is a pendant light. All of your lights should be showing something around 120 volts, 110 to 120 those are the types of lights that we're going to use here in the United States. I'm going to approximate about where my table was. I think it was right around in here. Pendant light is really good for hanging over like a dining room table. And that's where I'm going to drop that down. I, the other type that I have access to are recessed can lights. These work okay like in the kitchen. Again, make sure you pick the 120 volt variety. And I'm going to put one about over the sink, one about in this area, and I had a little prep area over here, so I'll also put one in that neighborhood. They're not really good for other locations, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Load Family, and from the U.S. Imperial folder, I'm going to scroll down to Lighting. When I open this up, I'm going to see Architectural or MEP. Because we are doing an actual plan where we're going to hook everything up to power, you have to go to MEP. If you go to architectural, you'll put something in that looks like a light, has the same symbol as a light, but you won't be able to hook it up. So go ahead and open MEP. We're looking for lights inside the house, and you have a bunch of options. This flat round ceiling one looks pretty well good. This linear box is also kind of nice. This would be like a fluorescent light. Some people have those like in the bathroom. So I'm going to go ahead and pick ceiling light right here. For whatever weird reason, it wants to come in and place it on a vertical face as though you were attaching it to a wall. You will have to change it to say place on face so that you can place it on the ceiling. I'm going to put two of them lined up using my, those lines there in the living area. One in the middle of the bedroom two and one in the middle of bedroom one. And just for a little variety, I'm going to hit load model bring in the linear box, hit open, and I'm going to put this box light in the bathroom. Again, just for something of a little bit of variety. Okay, This is really all I need to do in my ceiling pan is get approximate locations of the lights. When I close that and go back to, now you'll see my recessed cans are sticking up, that's fine. If you look at your 3D plan and any of your lights are on top of this ceiling, you should click on them and use that flipping set of handles, which the recessed can lights do not have, um, to flip them 
the other way. I am now going to open the floor plan electrical. When I do so, you can see all my walls and furnitures are in or what are called half tone or this lightened gray. You'll also notice I can't see any of my lights. Here's how we're going to fix that. The first thing we're going to do, and I'm going to start from the top and scroll my way down, is I'm going to go to visibility and graphics and click edit. I see this window and I want to scroll down to where I see two things that are talking about lighting lighting devices and lighting fixtures. You'll notice that lighting fixture is marked as half tone. We want to uncheck that because we want those to be the darker, more the focus of this. I'm going to hit apply and OK. That's my first change. Again, I don't see any change yet, but here's what's going to help next. As I scroll down a little bit, it says discipline architectural. This is why my electrical stuff is hidden. So if I drop down architectural, I'm going to pick electrical and click apply. You'll notice at least one of my lights has come up and it's this one here. I'm going to move my pendant light over a little bit so it's more centered over the table. This is like I said, you could move these later. But I'm not seeing the other ones. So you're going to scroll down a little more to see the rest of the lights. Under extents, you're going to do view range and click edit. Right now, it's 7 feet 6 inches from the floor. I'm going to change this to level above and hit OK. And I should now see all of my lights. And because I did the setting I did at the beginning, all of them are now darkened in. I'm going to need some stuff to control these lights. So it's time to look at switches. So right here in electrical, under device, I'm going to go down to where it says lighting switch. It's going to tell me that I don't have any switches loaded yet and ask me if I'd like to load one. So I'm going to say yes. Here's where I need to go. All the way back to US Imperial, under electrical, under MEP, under electrical power, and terminals are all sorts of options. You need to pick the one that says lighting switches. If you pick anything else, it's going to tell you that it doesn't work. You have to pick lighting switches and hit OK. I now have a couple of options. I have three-way and I have single pole. Single pole switches are the ones that I'm going to use in like the bedroom where I have one switch that controls one light. I know these are large right now. We'll fix that later. Again, one switch, one light. I'm going to do the same thing in the bathroom. One switch, one light. The rest of these, actually, I'm going to go ahead and do the kitchen light as one switch, one light. And when that went the wrong way, I should be able to click that and flip it. All right. Now, three-way switches. When I have a set of lights like these here that I'd like to be able to turn these living room lights on, as I walk in the house. But I don't want to come when it's time for bed. I don't want to come all the way over here to turn those off and then walk in the dark all the way back over to the bedroom. So I'm also going to add a three way switch right here, meaning that either switch controls these lights. Okay. The reason they're called a three way is because of how they're wired, which you don't have to worry about that right now. Just know that this is the type of switch you use when you need more than one switch to control a group of lights or a single light. I'm going to do the same thing over here as in when I come in the back door, I'd like to be able to turn the kitchen lights on as well as if I come around the corner to start cooking. So we'll go ahead and put those two there. That looks like I have all of the switches that I need. It's now time for outlets. You need to be careful. Outlets are loaded if I went to architecture and components I could find some outlets, but do not use those. You need to have to have to, under systems, come over to electrical fixture right here that you can even see the outlet. It has some preloaded. These ones that are white right here don't work. They do not work. You won't be able to hook them up. 
you need to go into load family and we were actually already in the correct folder but just in case you're watching just this portion of the video from us imperial we go to electrical mep electrical power and then terminals and in this we're going to find the first one you're going to need is duplex receptacle these are our standard plugs where they have two different plugs right now it's giving me a certain type called a gfci i will need one of these in the kitchen so i'm going to put it near the sink and i'm going to need to use this style of outlet in the bathroom gfcis are used in any wet location you don't need to do all gfcis in your kitchen but you need at least one they actually can be then hooked up together the other type is just our standard duplex. This is where we're going to what we're going to use pretty much throughout the rest of the house. I'm going to put one over this little prep area, another one over this little prep area. Sometimes zooming in helps. In the bedroom, I'm going to put them in a known place because I know I have a table here. So I'm going to plop that down there. I'm going to get at least one on every long wall. And I'm going to do kind of a mirror image on the other side. Again, I know the text is in the way, so we'll kind of shrink that down. I'm also going to put one of these behind the TV. Might have to zoom in to get it to go the correct way. We do want the outlet sticking out into the room it belongs to. Go here as well. Over here as well. One on this wall here, and one behind the door. In order to finish this up, we do have an oven, uh, our stove, and we have our fridge. Those get special outlets. Load family, a simple receptacle goes behind the fridge. This, you'll notice, only has one line on it. A receptacle to 20 volt is what goes behind the range and also if you happen to use a clothing dryer. Sometimes these are difficult to place so sometimes placing it and flipping it is the easiest way to do. You'll notice those have three. I now have all the equipment placed that I'm going to need in addition before my power panel. So. This is where I'm going to stop this video and pick up with creating the power and also connecting the electrical outlets to it in the next video.